Well, hello and welcome to this video short. My name is James Timmons, and today I'm going to show you how to auto digitize a vector design inside the Wilcom Embroidery Studio Digital Edition. As always, when you're opening up a design and you're preparing that design for production, one of the first things that needs to be done is to go in and make sure that the artwork or graphic that you have on the screen is the actual finish size of the embroidery. And that means if this design that I have on the screen here, if its intention is to be five inches wide, I'm going to select it by drawing my box around it here. And I can see that the width of this is 14 inches. So this is way too big for the finished size of my embroidery. So here I will go down in this particular box here that I'm looking at is called your property bar. In the property bar, I'm going to go in and I will select the width. I'm going to change this to 5.0 and I'm going to press enter. So as you can see, the size difference has changed dramatically. The next stage here is once I have my graphic size for the finished embroidery, the next step that I want to do is I want to take this over to Corel Draw. And it's as simple as going in, you're going to navigate, you're going to click on your Corel Draw balloon here up top. As I left click it, here's going to transform my workspace from the Embroidery Studio to the Corel Draw. I'm going to navigate up top here for my size here to fit on the screen so that I can see this. And if it's too large, I can also go in and use my mouse button to roll back like this to decrease the size. Right now, to determine if this design is actually convertible at this particular time, I'll need to select the design as I draw a box around it here. And once I, once I select this design, what happens is I want to go in and I want to actually convert this graphic into stitches if i navigate up top here i have a convert graphics to embroidery and what i want to do next though once i get my design over here into corel draw i'm going to navigate up top here to my object drop menu here i want to scroll down to convert to curves convert to curves allows you better editing capacity within the workspace and once i've done that the next step is to be to navigate up top and choose convert graphics to embroidery. And keep in mind that this is already a vector object on my screen, which is the object style that I'll need to do my conversion. As I click convert graphics to embroidery, we'll get another transformation from the Corel graphics workspace to the embroidery studio workspace like this. So here we have our design. And it was that quick and easy based on the nice graphic that we have. We had a, a very nice graphic in order to convert from, and it makes a big difference, the type of graphic that you have actually, this being a vector design. Once we get this here, now it's time for me to prepare this design for production. Doing so at this particular point now, I can go up top here. I want to make sure that everything is stitching correctly. And at this point now, I can navigate up top here. You have a tool here that's called your stitch player. If I select the stitch player, here it's going to give me object to object visual here on how this is going to stitch out on my machine. As I navigate up top, I'm going to speed this up here a little bit here also. So everything that you see here, and as you're looking at this, the first thing that I see is that there are no underlay stitches, which needs to be straighten out before I go into production mode. At this particular point here, the great thing about the stitch player is that it shows you exactly what's going to stitch out on the embroidery machine. So it kind of gives you a heads up. So if nothing, so if you have anything on the screen that's not working properly here or it's not stitching correctly, you'll be able to see that here in the stitch player. So as it goes through, and it stitches this out, always keep in mind that once you do the conversion, that original conversion over from Corel Draw to Embroidery Studio, you're just stitching the objects on the screen. 
you'll still have to go in afterwards and prepare that design for production. That's gonna do it for our video short today. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you learned something. See you next time. Happy digitizing.